morning it's a new day and today my topic is on fiery furnace today i want to tell you this fiery furnace the word itself will make you feel or experience the heat a fiery furnace is a furnace that is that is burnt or rather it's burning all the time and it reminds me of um, three men that in the history, uh, Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. This was close to 600 years before Jesus was born. And history is a witness to this, that in the time where, uh, where Jerusalem was besieged by Babylonians, at that time there was a king by the name Nebuchadnezzar. And this king took some of the brilliant men from Israel and brought them into, uh, into uh, his own land uh, and made them do the things in order to serve the king, in order to serve the palace. Like that, there was three men by the name Shadrach, Mesach and Abednego. You can check this historically. It's a true event. And uh, what happened? Why this fiery furnace? The king made an image of him and told all the citizens to bow down when the trumpet is blown. Whenever the trumpet is blown, people get notifications. The citizens get to know it's time to bow down in front of the king's image. But these three men, Shadrach, Mesach, Abednego, was very passionate and they loved the, their God, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of Israel. And they made up their mind that they are not going to bow down to any other image apart from bowing down to their own God. And what happened over here? They refused to bow down and the king ordered them to be thrown into the fiery furnace. And let me tell you, the king told them, his soldiers, that heat up the furnace seven times more than the usual heat and throw them in the furnace as a lesson and punishment for everybody in the land to learn that when the king orders, you have to listen. But they did heat it seven times and they tried uh, after a very huge struggle uh, because they, they, the soldiers were afraid to go close to the, uh, the, the furnace because it was so hot. These three men, Shadrach, Mesach and Abednego, they were thrown in this furnace. And everybody knew that there is no chance of them being uh, you know, alive even for another one, two minutes because it was a hot furnace. And after some time, when they, when they went to see, they saw... Not three men, they saw four, four images in the furnace. Three was Shadrach, Mesach and Abednego and the fourth was the image of God. I want to tell you what is your fiery furnace in your life. Are you doing the right thing and therefore you are going through a fiery furnace? If you are doing the right thing and you are going to the fiery furnace, I have good news for you. Do not be afraid because God is going to deliver you out of the fiery furnace. I want you to think about taking those bold decisions sometimes because you know what is the truth and you have to stand for things like stand for justice, stand for what is right, stand for the oppressed, Support the people who do not have the privilege to stand for justice. And in, in, in this situation, if you are thrown in a fiery furnace, today we don't have literally a fiery furnace, but we have so many people that can oppose you, your own friends sometimes. They wonder why you're doing such noble cause, why such social cause. But I want to encourage you, even in that fiery furnace, God will not allow you to go through those fiery furnace alone. Joshua 1.9, it says over here that the Lord will not leave you 
nor forsake you. And I want to encourage all of you, don't stop, don't, don't, uh, don't get scared, don't be afraid, but stand firm for what is right and what is the truth. And God will look at your good deeds, God will look at your boldness and he will certainly bless you.